very good morning good morning my sister my dear student uh, today we are going to discuss about advanced structural model unit number 2 uh, in that particular unit uh, we are going to discuss about uh, interface type and roles so what are different types of interfaces are available uh, to communicate between uh, two different classes or uh, two different uh, package diagram or uh, two different kind of component diagram in what are different types in what are different types of roles are available that we will discuss about in detail in this particular lecture first of all uh, what is meant in the interface that we will discuss in detail so interface so that we know that the interface is majorly used to connect to between any two different kind of objects so either it may be in a meaningful or it may be a not meaningful but if you are using an any interface that will going to be act as a medium of the communication channel a between a two different kind of an object right so it can be like uh, rendered and uh, uh, the model also can be taken one or two compartment as in a rectangle box and in the rectangular box that should be in a stereotype and you should mention the interface name over there in the particular box so this is a size that the interface is always mentioned over there when coming to the interface services so interface services uh, does not get uh, uh, initiated that it will be that uh, that they don't have any kind of an attribute or state uh, rather than that specify the services uh, offered by your related classes like when you taking a class diagram uh, we will divide into three different kind of com uh, compartment first is your class name second is your attribute and third is your operation but here the interface services will going to be taken in two different kind of comp compartment and the first is your interface name and second is your attribute and sometimes if you want to choose as a operation also you can mention over there so this is an interface services which will provide you in detail about why the particular communication is going to get held between the two different objects that will give you in detail about in the particular interface services when coming to this interface uh, realization relationship so what is mean by this so there are two different kind of uh, uh, interface or two different kind of object is there if i want to communicate between two different kind of object so what i should use so i told you in the previous class there are many kind of uh, relationships are available so we can say uh, association or dependency or aggregation or generalization composition right so this all the relationships are going to be used to connect between a two different kind of classes or two different kind of an object here the same interface will also going to be act as a relationship between two different kind of an object so a class uh, with an any interface that going to be supplies its behavioral specification and uh, it will mention by the dotted line with an hollow triangle at the upper area then this particular uh, arrow mark or this particular communication will going to be uh, means by the generalization so this is what we are calling as a generalization relationship in the class diagram but here this is a interface relationship in your uh, two different kind of object when we are defining if you want to communicate between these two then obviously you can you may use this relationship between the two different object let them take example there is a vending machine there is a vending machine that vending machine will want to be connect to your interface so when one customer is there the customer want to buy some kind of uh, product in the automata vending machine either some kind of cold drinks or some kind of in a chocolate or some kind of uh, uh, product which any product that they want to buy from the automatic vending machine so first initially they will want to be insert a coin or uh, rupees in the particular automatic machine vending machine so that will going to be communicate to your particular currency whether it is valid or invalid so if the interface is perfectly mapped between the currency versus the matching of the particular currency how much of cost it was so based upon that it will going to be provide the particular product after selecting the product code then if any balance is required it will provide you based upon the product which that how much that you are selecting how much quantity and what the, what is the cost of that and based upon that 
the remaining change will provide by the vending machine so for this we need different kind of an relationship so sometimes we need a strong communication sometimes we have a dependency communication some kind of uh, situation we required uh, generalization communication so this communication will always going to be provide a strong uh, communication for two different kind of an edge right so coming to here uh, interface so there is an input stream and there is an output stream so for this input stream i am going to be writing a file writer so this file writer uh, which will going to be one of the class and that interface can also be rendered by your circle connected to your class by a solid line so this is a file writer is by class and this file writer is going to be communicated with a dotted line with an arrow mark so this interface line that we are calling as file must not be locked so this is the meaning of the communication between your file writer to your input stream and this is your uh, input stream and the input stream will receive from your file writer and it will provide to your file and after that from the file it will take whenever you want to read then this particular file will going to be get from your output stream and the file reader will going to be search from your output stream and the file must exist it will open that and we can able to read the particular content if it is not exist then obviously it will get it will get a uh, get open the particular content of the file right so this is a very simple uh, logic in the simple logic uh, they are using the interface communication what is that in between the file writer to input string this is your dependency and other is your file reader between your output string this is either uh, dependency line and this input stream file and output stream file they are using a strong communication because uh, this is very very essential uh, purpose that we are using we should not use at here dependency or any other communication because input stream and file and output stream file these two things are essentially required a strong communication so that is why we are using a straight line and here we are using a dependency so we are using a dotted line with an arrow mark right so how the class notations are going to be used in your uml so that i will tell you in detail so this will going to be taking as always a rectangular box and the rectangular box will going to be divided into three different kind of portion one is your class name and second is your attribute and third is your operation right so the top section is used for the class so this particular portion they used for your class so i can take example for here uh, <coughs> book so i'm just taking taking as a book so book is one of the class name right so that particular book uh, is my top of the class so this is my class name the second one uh, is used to show the attribute of the class so so this is we are using the second portion in the book what are attribute it contain book must have title right so it must have the title and it must have the name name of the author then uh, <coughs> version because this is very very important version and uh, cost so we can take uh, four different kind of attribute for the books and coming to the next one uh, which is the last one the third section is used to describe the operation that performed by the class so this is done by that in this particular portion so for the book what it will do generally the book is mainly used for to uh, read right book is going to be using for a read purpose and then uh, we can able to sell it this is other purpose that the book is going to be used 
sale the particular book correct so we can take ma many kind of purpose but this tool is many many uh, many many uh, particular uh, store this two uh, main important functions will play a role for your book in the fourth section this is an optional so that is why we are not using at uh, uh, many places so this is optional so if you want to add you can go ahead to add but this is an optional so most of the places you will not see the fourth one so if you want to go ahead with then you can take it at here you can add uh, any additional components for this particular book if you want to add any kind of additional component then you can go ahead with the last compartment but these three are very very majorly important to uh, divide the notation as well as to describe about how to choose a particular class name and uh, how to choose an attribute and uh, how to choose a uh, operation for the particular class right in coming to the definition of the class so a general template that we will use to create a specific instances or objects in the particular application domain so <coughs> let them take some uh, sample of example uh, let them take a, a refrigerator or let them take a microwave oven let them take a washing machine let them take a laptop let them take a mobile phone let them take a human let them take a bird let them take an animal all these things are as objects or a specific instance if you want to create you can create it for any kind of an application domain so that you can make the name of the particular class and represent a kind of person so when uh, how you will represent by the class you may represent a kind of person or a place or a thing about which the system will need to capture and store the information so this is a very very important point that the definition of the class will going to give in detail about it and the third point what is mean by abstraction so the client side we will not show all the code part to the client side so the development team will going to be hide some portion of the code which is uh, sensitive as well as which is very risk of the code that the code will going to be hide from the customer side then the remaining portion the code will going to be visible to the customer side so the abstraction that specify the attribute and the behavior of a set of objects so this is another important parameter that will going to be defining the definition of your class and whenever we are taking any kind of structure of the system in terms of class and in terms of objects a particular class name will going to be defined in detail manner right and coming to the class diagram so so far what we discussed is the definition of the class and now coming to the class diagram so already we discussed uh, where this class diagram will come so i told you that the uml so what is meaning of this uml unified modeling language so this is a three person that they developed at initial stage uh, one is a uh, jacobson rahamberg and booch so these are three persons that they have developed this uml diagram in detail about how to uh, convert a problem statement into the picture representation then the picture representation how we will implement within a short duration so this is why that the uml diagram will going to be play a vital role in the market so if you want to convert uh, any problem statement into the uh, solution with the instance and you should not go you should not give any pressure to the development team and testing team then obviously this uml diagram will play an important role over there right so i will give some scenario so that you can understand what is mean by this uml diagram uh, let them take some problem statement uh, that particular problem statement you want to give the solution within uh, two months but if you're going for it company they will take minimum six months of one year time to give the solution for that so this one to two months if you want to get the instant solution so uh, i want to reduce the time I, as well as i want to reduce the human resource and i want to reduce the cost of the particular uh, software so that i want to uh, implement efficient uh, product also so how we will implement it so for that i am giving a solution as a uml so uml will going to be collect all the requirement from the 
customer side at the initial stage once it is finalized and automatically that the requirement will be converted to uh, technical terms and submitted to the designer and the analysis and designer will sit together and they will study the detail about what is the uh, expectation of the customer side and then they will convert all the things in terms of the designing part so each and every uh, requirement they will take and plot it in a proper manner in the UML diagram so there are n number of UML diagrams are available so it starts from use case diagram class diagram sequence diagram a collaboration diagram activity diagram state chart diagram package diagram component diagram and then deployment diagram so this all the things are UML diagram right and this UML diagram will provide uh, a complete knowledge about the designing part so if you want to convert this designing into the coding part it is option it is a option is there that the option will provide your designing part will going to convert into your a template of your coding part so you can convert into any kind of a coding either if you want to convert into java or if you want to convert into python or if you want to convert into xml or if you want to convert it into html right if you want to convert it into c++ programming so whatever the code that you want the template will going to be convert from your designing part so it will reduce the development team that is a who is implementing the particular code that the person uh, the burden of the work will going to get reduced because this particular concept will provide you the whole template now the developer role just adding of the uh, variable and function and uh, which is important over there then just adding in that existing template and they are executing over there so this is a very short duration if you want to develop you can go ahead with this UML diagram right so in this class diagram they will going to be uh, visualized at a different kind of uh, 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 class name and describing that and then they are going to be giving the document of the different aspects right and constructing and executable the code by your sub application and this main important of this class diagram will provide the most collection of the class and as well as it will provide the communication for your interface association and uh, collaboration of your constraints and most of the time this class diagram will always known as a structural diagram and coming to this the uh, sample of the class diagram here i'm just having a, a staff this diagram which i was drawn by using of your rational rows this uh, rational row software which is uh, licensed by your uh, uh, there are different kind of uh, uh, class names are available over here uh, let them take a staff uh, manager uh, cashier and then uh, product supplier and uh, receipt and then customer <coughs> So from this you can understand this sample class diagram is going to be used for to order uh, any kind of inventory management system so that it will take uh, a sample of this class diagram. Uh, the mo major part is in manager role and the manager will provide all the information to about the product and the rules and regulations will provide to the staff and uh, uh, the manager will going to communicate to the suppliers and the staff will going to be act as a cashier sometimes they will act as other persons and the cashier will going to be collect the receipt from the uh, they will provide the receipt or they will collect the cash from the customer side and will they will straight away they will interact with the customers so this is a one uh, uh, concept like we can take an inventory management system so for that we are drawing a class diagram for that we are taking one two three four five six seven different class name and for that we are giving a, a attribute name and then a function name for each class and we are mentioning the communication between the two different classes here we are using a generalization and here we are using association and this one one this meaning of this one 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 is means multiplicity so multiplicity concept also that we are applying over here and wherever the communication is there then the communication we are telling that what is the purpose of this so the purpose is main important role over here so the purpose will play a major role for to why that we are communicating between these two class so the meaningful information will provide over there 
so i told you about in the previous class at every attribute and every operation will have three kind of uh, uh, information either it may be private or either it may be public or either it may be protected so these three things will provide in detail about uh, which data should get visible to everyone which data should not get visible to everyone and which data should get protected more so based upon that the uh, variable as well as the function will going to be uh, implemented in your uh, template so this is a sample class diagram that we discussed so far and these are the references and you may contact to my email id thank you